What is up guys? This is Zach from Angler's Escape and today I want to show you some clips from my travels in Asia. So I went to Asia for one month. I spent a week in India, a week in Thailand, a week in Bali, Indonesia, and a week in Japan. And so some of the clips we're going to show you today are from spearfishing in Bali. It was a ton of fun, a really cool experience. And then I also wanted to show you some clips from Tokyo where I went to a fish market and I also went to this restaurant where it was really cool. You actually catch the fish before you eat them. So they give you a pole, you catch it with pole and line, then you hand it to them and they prepare the fish actually raw as sushi and then you get to eat it. So I hope you guys enjoy these clips and as always, best of luck fishing. The guy that got this snapper as well as this king mackerel and then he got a lobster. Um, I got some smaller fish which uh, he took for the captain of the boat. He got this, these nice slabs of meat so I'm going to go ahead and try to cook them up tonight. This is our last night in Bali. See what couple where this hotel has for the night that me and my friend are staying at. So hopefully they have at least a knife. I think they do and uh, we'll go ahead I'll boil, boil some water for this lobster. And then I'll go ahead, since I don't have a grill, I'll just go ahead and bake this or fry some of this fish. Alright, so some of the king mackerel's cooking. The lobster's gonna start boiling here in a second. And they wouldn't give me a knife, believe it or not. Their little butter slash steak knife that they gave me actually laid it really nicely. So I'll go ahead and try this stuff out when it finishes. And we have our first piece of fish. Unfortunately, I don't even have oil, but there's enough oil in the skin. So I'll go ahead and try it. And that is really good fish. Despite not having seasoning, nothing beats fresh fish that was caught just hours before. Whether it's seasoning or not, and it's king mackerel. Really no fishy taste. Just by myself I've managed to eat about a fourth of this giant king mackerel. So I ate pretty much the whole, so this is half of the king mackerel and I ate half of one side of it. So I ate about a good one and a half to two pounds of just king mackerel. Really good and now I'm going to finish it off with some lobster here in a second as soon as this guy is done. It shouldn't be much longer, it says it only takes about 10 minutes to cook. Alright, Nick Hill's going to catch a mackerel, any of them. Don't get him. Oh, this guy? Yeah, What's just that? make sure you don't get him. What do you think? Those are eels, don't get those either. Just get the mackerel. Alright, Nikhil's gonna catch a mackerel. You can do it. Oh, he took a nipple at it. Oh, you got one! Alright. Grab the net. Rick Nikhil, get him in and have some sushi. Alright, this guy is about to be our dinner. Alright, so we got the mackerel, now I'm going to get an abalone and a top shell. I've never had either before and we're going to eat them raw, so let's go ahead and catch, snag one. That one all the way in the back. Or, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a biggie. I got three on there, but I don't want to pay for one balance. We're about to pay for three if you snag all three. Oh, one came off. Do you think that one's bigger? Yeah, that one's pretty big. Alright, alright, we're going for that other one. Alright, so we'll grab this guy. Alright, watch this. Here we go. He's in a good position. Line him up. Got him. Alright. Oh! Haha. <laughs> 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 
Yes. There it is. Yes. We got it. All Finally. Right, we have a top shell and an albacore. I've never had albacore. They're super expensive in California, so we'll go ahead and try it. It's about 12 bucks for this, three, four, three bucks for this, about 15 for the two. We'll go ahead and try them, and uh, we'll go ahead and have these. We're at the restaurant in Tokyo, Japan, that you catch your own meal. And so let me go ahead and show you guys what we got. And if Hill caught this um, herring right here, it's actually a mackerel. And uh, they cut it up for us. It's all sushi meat, so it's all raw, but it was alive just 10 minutes ago. Here is some stingray. We'll have to go ahead and try this. Abalone. Abalone, sorry. This is the abalone. I've never tried it before. I know in California it's really expensive and a big deal, so that'll be interesting to try. And then we have the top shell that I've never had before. And so this guy was also alive. Um, I guess I got the shell for a souvenir, but that one was painfully hard to catch. Let's go ahead and try a piece of each. I'll go ahead and try the raw uh, mackerel. But it's a little... I haven't, I've eaten very little raw fish, and it's pretty chewy, but it has good flavor. We'll go ahead and try some of the stingray. And that stingray's been dried, and it's from the stingray fins. And honestly, it tastes like teriyaki beef jerky. That's really good. It's like a teriyaki beef jerky, but a stingray. Now let's try a piece of the abalone. Still probably not holding these chopsticks right the way it makes. I'm not grabbing this very well, but... Wow, the abalone is extremely chewy. Like, it's almost hard to chew. But it's got a nice flavor again. Kind of like, really reminds you of the ocean. Not a fishy taste, but kind of a salty, smooth taste. But it's very hard. And now we'll try the top shell. Again, that's also very hard. These are all raw. And it's really chewy, but it's got a nice, like, kind of creamy ocean taste. So the taste isn't bad. Texture is a little difficult to get over because it's so chewy. This is my favorite, the stingray. It's like, it's basically like beef jerky, teriyaki. This is my next favorite, the raw skipjack and the sushi meat. Sorry, herring. Then the albacore and then the um, top shell. That's a good spread right there. start with the more dense piece of tuna meat. Basically, I'm not going to have the rice because I've had so much rice the last couple days. But that's really good. Definitely not as good as this toro is going to be. It's a real like lean piece of the fish, the tuna. That's still excellent, very good flavor. And so we'll go ahead and give this a try. Mm. That was a lot better than the lean one. A lot more flavor, a lot more buttery. No fishy taste though. These are all raw and it's cold. It was probably just caught last night here in the world's largest fish market. Now we'll go ahead and skip from the tuna to the salmon. And this one I'll go ahead and have with the rice. So just grab a huge ski. She already put on some soy sauce for me. <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> Mm. Salmon so far is my favorite. The raw salmon beats out the lean and the medium fat tuna. And now we gotta try the toro, the cream of the crop. And so toro is a high fat, and I wanna just savor the the fish meat and not the rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get just a little bit of soy sauce on it. I mean, this is from the belly of the tuna. These are the really expensive cuts. So we'll go ahead and uh, get a nice bite. Mm. That is, that's the best. The light, the lean tuna was good, but my least favorite. Still amazing though. Then the medium fat tuna, then the salmon, and then the high fat tuna wins out. That was a really good, good sample of tuna right there. All right, so we have right here seen some raw gizzard shad on the menu. Then we have some raw sea urchin, never tried before, never tried before. And this is like a Japanese omelet. 
sushi. So we'll have to try this as well. But we'll go ahead and try a piece of this raw gizzard shad. It's a really thin piece of meat. Really not much to it. I mean, gizzard shad are pretty thin fish to begin with, not really big. It has a little bit of a fishy taste, but it's mainly rice. As you can see how thin it is, it's like really small thin piece, but it doesn't taste bad. It doesn't taste great. It's light, fishy taste. Kind of like anchovies a little bit. I'll try some of this sea urchin. Hmm. This is a really sweet taste, and that's really sweet tasting as well, but really good. All right, for three dollars and fifty cents, we got a nicely cooked fish. Go ahead and uh, uncover them here, but it's a big old mackerel. This is going to be a great meal for three bucks. Quite a bit of meat right there. 